So welcome to episode 14 of Jesus, His Words and the Generative Way. In these short videos, I like to take the actual words of Jesus as recorded in the Bible and see if there's some flourishing generative truth for ourselves. And today I want to speak about judging others. I don't know about you, but I've often compared myself to somebody else and I've either felt inferior or superior. So often I've said things like, at least I don't do that, or at least I'm better than that, or at least, you know, whatever it is. There seems to be a satisfaction in pointing out the faults of others to justify our own faults. So when it comes to judging others, here's what Jesus says. He says, don't pick on people, jump on their failures, criticize their faults, unless, of course, you want to have the same treatment. That critical spirit has a way of boomeranging. I love the way the message version says it. That critical spirit as a way of boomeranging, a kind of a karma kind of thing. You know, I've suffered from having a critical spirit. The, the terrible thing about it is that when you have a critical spirit, it kind of comes back. It seems to be that you're the one who loses out. Jesus goes on to say this. He says, it's easy to see a smudge on your neighbor's face and be oblivious to the ugly sneer on your own. Do you have the nerve to say, let me wash your face for you, when your own face is distorted by contempt? It's clear what Jesus is saying here. He's attempting to liberate ourselves from judging others. The other versions of the Bible would use this text by saying, take out the log out of your own eye before you try to take the splitter out of somebody else's eye. And the reality is what Jesus is saying is not trying to lay a heavy on us, he's trying to liberate us. He's trying to get us free from judging others. He compares the idea of judging others or trying to be better than somebody else. He compares it to like a traveling roadshow. In fact, this is what he says. He says this whole traveling roadshow mentality all over again, playing a holier than thou part instead of just living your part. I mean, what Jesus is saying is quit playing the holier than thou thing. There's no value to it. He says simply get on with your own life. One of the most liberating things that can happen to anyone is to be free from judging other people. Rob Bell says, let them have their right. In this section, Jesus underscores these words by encouraging us not to be flipped with the sacred. He says, don't reduce holy mysteries to slogans. In trying to be irrelevant, you're only being cute and inviting sacrilege. He's saying, you know what, don't do that. It becomes a roadshow. It becomes something that diminishes the, your own sacredness. So there are three things in closing. Number one, liberate yourself and let God deal with others. Number two, keep your faith free of sound bites and empty words. Number three, keep the mystery of union with Jesus something special and sacred. I hope this makes sense to you. If it does, hey, give me a like. Otherwise, God bless you and thanks for watching.